right, here we are back with another, now, later 20th century into contemporary literature author, Toni Morrison. You may have all heard of her. She's written some very, very famous books. Um, what we are reading from her this week, you may not have heard of. It's an excerpt from her Unspeakable Things Unspoken, the Afro-American presence in American literature. So quite um, an important voice here that we're going to read about, um, an, an important perspective. Um, if you look at the printed out lecture, there is a photo of Toni Morrison, and it looks to be quite, well, I say quite contemporary, something in my lifetime, but for you guys, it's probably before you were born. <laughs> it was taken in the 1980s or 1990s. I'm not really sure. Um, but, you know, she definitely, you can tell we've come to the modern, the quote unquote modern or contemporary era. Let me see this photo of her. Um, the printed out lecture, of course, has many links. If you'd like more information about Toni Morrison or her works, and um, there is, for example, an official website of the Toni Morrison Society included there. Um, there's a four-part NPR interview with Toni Morrison on her novel, A Mercy. It's the name of the novel, A Mercy. Um, there's a YouTube link for a Charlie Rose interview with Toni Morrison. And a YouTube clip of Toni Morrison's Nobel Prize acceptance lecture. So a lot of good stuff there. If you'd like to know more, uh, check them out. All right, Toni Morrison. She is an American author. She was born Chloe Anthony Wofford in 1931 in Lorraine, Ohio, and died recently in 2019. So she had a long life. She lived till 88 years old and is extremely contemporary when you figure she died only in 2019, not too many years ago. Uh, growing up in the Midwest, Tony's working class parents told her stories, an appreciation of which informs Tony's later writings. Ohio represents a state of critical liminality for Tony. Uh, on the border, as the or on the bottom as the border of Southern State Kentucky, and on the top as the border of Lake Erie itself, a border of Canada, Ohio. Present uh, Tony with racial, cultural, and geographical ambiguity. So, if that makes sense, on the bottom of Ohio is the border of Southern State Kentucky. So, it's like the border between the North and the South. And then on the top is Lake Erie, which is the border between Canada and the United States. So, you can see it's a very liminal area, right? It's in between the United States and Canada, and it's in between the North and the South. So that in turn colors much of her writing, though so that state of liminality or in betweenness or transition. Morrison took her name Tony from her middle name, Anthony. You know, Tony is often a diminutive for Anthony. So Tony, there you go. Her current surname comes from the man she married but later divorced, Harold Morrison, an architect from Jamaica and the father of, of her two children, Harold Ford and Slade. With a bachelor's from Howard University, a master's from Cornell, and a thesis on suicide themes in the writings of William Faulkner and Virginia Woolf. Woolf, of course, committed suicide. Uh, Tony moved to New York City to become an editor at Random House. And there, helped to mainstream many black writers. Tony started writing as an undergraduate at Howard University, but her career took off with the publication of her novels in the 1970s. She has since written nine novels, a play, a libretto, a short story, and nonfiction works like the excerpt from Unspeakable Things Unspoken in 1989 that we read for class written children books. Tony's works often focus on a pariah character, that means like an outcast type, as a metaphor for the individual being cut off from society and the pressures and problems such isolation can entail. 
The pariah or outcast in turn is used to explore and comment on the status of racial and cultural pariahs, which so often African Americans find themselves represented as in American society. Uh, so she identified with that point of view and wrote about it. In 1988, Tony won the Pulitzer Prize in literature. Again, so many of our female authors winning the Pulitzer Prize either in poetry or literature. There we go. For her novel, Beloved, about a female pariah living outside of society. In her acceptance speech, Tony remarked, quote, quote, there is no suitable memorial or plaque or wreath or wall or park or skyscraper lobby honoring the memory of the human beings forced into slavery and brought to the United States. There's no small bench by the road that the Tony Morrison Society begin installing benches at significant sites in the history of slavery in America. The first bench by the road was dedicated July 26, 2008 on Sullivan's Island in South Carolina. The point of entry for approximately 40% of the enslaved Africans brought to British America, unquote. In 1993, Toni Morrison became the first black woman ever win the Nobel Prize in literature. And the Nobel Prize is for, is for all of the world's literature. It's not just America. Pulitzer Prize is for America, but the Nobel Prize is for the whole world. And she became the first black woman ever to win it in 1993. So again, you can tell what an honored and respected and revered and beloved writer Tony Morrison is. Uh, the citation that the Nobel Prize Committee gave about Tony Morrison, which he won, was, quote, in novels characterized by visionary force and poetic import, gives life to an essential aspect of American reality, unquote. Tony also spent several years teaching at Harvard University and Princeton University, among other schools as well. So I, I invite you to read more about Toni Morrison in the anthology and, of course, the work of hers that we read this week, uh, which is a nonfiction work, and it's an excerpt from her larger work called Unspeakable Things Unspoken, the Afro-American Presence in American Literature. You can see that dovetails very much with uh, what she won the Nobel Prize for, uh, which was that embodiment of the Afro-American experience in American literature. All right, enjoy Toni Morrison's thoughts, sentiments, and life. Let's write it. Thank you.